Hello guys, this is Avcore and this is just an update video. I haven't done a lot of videos lately because of school and the holidays. So I'm sorry about that. I think this is a good game, but there, there's just some things about this game that are not agreeing with me. But I still enjoy it. I still enjoy playing it, but I'm looking at Archlands. I'll talk about that in another video. Archland is like, has my like heart right now. I think it's a great game, but let's hope that they make some changes to this game. But as far as power goes, well, we'll start right there. I've actually gotten better in, in power. As you can see, I'm number four. And there's a couple reasons why I'm number four. Not, I haven't spent the most money. Like Guys like Vinny and Zoe Cook don't like this game anymore. I can understand why. If you look at Vinny's team, he still has a solid team. You can you can see like he was actually working on Nesha. And Nesha is actually a really good hero. He's better than I thought he would be. In fact, he's kind of like a must summon if you're really building light. So you can see that he was actually working towards that goal. And you can actually see that Zoe Cook was working, working towards that goal because he has actually Glow Dragon. And I think Glow Dragon is Bay right now in the game. It's going to be hard to top what he can do. So you can see that they were actually really constructing like top tier teams. But they just got tired of the like rushed like events that you only spend money. You don't do anything in the event. You just spend money. And you see like guys like Dude What are like rising stars now dude what never and sky are like the three kings of our server because dude what actually has a 12 star monkey king and a 12 star of alkari which is really good and he actually has a 11 star morian which is really good i'll talk about my morian too never is like a player that really thought about the game and how it worked because if you look at his uh team you can see like, okay, the equipment's not there right here. The equipment's not there right there. But he's got like the Chaos Talisman. He's got Chaos Talisman from those guys. He only has one tome and he has just the uh, Cosmo Talisman, but his equipment's a little better here. And he has, only has one mythic piece of equipment and he has a tome and a beast here. And he has a tome here. But when you look at his overall power, it's extremely high. But when you look at me, I have a beast, uh, two chaos talismans. My rune is like trash right there. I have a tome. I have advanced equipment right there. So that's looking pretty good. But look at Never's uh, panda. Never's panda still stronger than my panda and that's because he put a lot of his resources into awakenings so that's where the crux of his power comes from because I was looking at this guy and I'm like how did he get so strong it's like he was actually thinking about the game a little more than I was and I can see that now I can really see that now that you know I gotta start investing in awakenings Let's look at this Tempest Dragon. Yeah, I got to invest in Awakening. Because when you look at my overall setup, there's places, there's a lot of improvement here because this is like garbage. And he's only 11 star. He'll get stronger once he reaches a 12 star. So he'll get stronger. She'll get stronger once she actually unlocks her Awakenings. Because she has, she has a advanced rune. Yeah, she has a Sartan rune. She has two Chaos Talismans. She has two pieces of equipment at five, five, uh, at plus five. She has three pieces of equipment at plus three. They're still not good enough. My Elementalist is still weak. So you have Endless Storm. And you look at uh, Never's Endless Storm. Looking at never, never's endless storm. Like 
He's put a lot of time here. I think Stone Statue is another good tome to use. So he didn't purchase any new characters. Unlike these guys who purchased new characters. I mean, not Ratchet. <laughs> Ratchet, he's cool. Like, unlike Vinny and Zoe Cook, uh, he didn't purchase any new characters. He just managed his resources and put them in the right places. And that's why he's so strong. I think he's one of the smartest players in the game right now. I think Dude What is actually pretty smart too. It sucks that he had to get rid of his his Underworld Strider, but he sucks. So I understood why he got rid of him. But he got so much stronger once he got rid of Underworld Strider. I think that was one of the things that was, that was holding Dude What back is Underworld Strider. He has a 12-star Underworld Strider, but he just, like, Underworld Strider sucks. So... Now that dude what has gotten rid of Underworld Strider, his power is like, like insane. Dude what is pretty good right now. Skyrim was like the big the big kahuna for a while until like never like somehow, some way never was able to rise above Skyrim. But Skyrim actually has still the highest ranks as far as clearing content though, because of this character. He put a lot of resources into his Lunar Shadow. And that got him pretty far in this game. So when you look at like people in their strategies, you can tell like people were really thinking about this game more so than I was. The, Sky was one of those people who, who was really thinking about the game and how it functioned. Because he, his dark, the two pieces that, of dark that he did invest in were really good. Like this team is like really good. The combo of Lunar Shadow and Panda keeps him at the top of the food chain. And I can see that. Like, if you look at me, I'm slowly getting there. I thought about the game a little more, but I watched other people. So that's what opened my mind a little more to the game. I'm struggling with Dark Apostle because he's a hero that requires a lot of investment. So he'll actually reach a higher potential once I start putting runes and pets on him and start getting him his stuff up and, and his awakenings, he'll be a much better hero. That's as far as that goes. And cross server ranking, I'm in the top 10 barely. I'm barely in the top 10 beating River and Anda. But you have Seraphine, I don't know, something Mason, R-O-F-L Mason and April Fools. They're like, these guys are like mega stars. These guys are mega stars. And they don't use advanced heroes. Like the new heroes that are coming out. Mason doesn't even bother using them. I'm kind of impressed with his team. He's got two wins, two, two wins, two waters, and one light. So that's impressive. And you look at April Fool's team. He's he's got a he's got a more advanced team because he's got a 12 star Nezha with with skin on. And all of his characters have skins <laughs> except except his uh Fury of Destruction. It doesn't matter though because she's decked out. But you can see like the way they allocate their resources, like this talisman is Garbo, but look how strong his Elementalist is. His Elementalist is stronger than mine. Like, you can see, like, these guys are allocating their resources in different places and getting better results than me. So that's why I look at them to see where they're going in order to get my team stronger. Like, this is like one of the beast Lord of Times. I mean, good Lord, this Lord of Times is a freaking monster. And that impresses me. April Fool's actually impressed me. Seraphine is like the typical well. <laughs> I mean, he's a great player, but look at his team. It, it just says well. It literally says well. It literally says well. Uh, he's a smart well, but come on. This, this is this is well team. In fact, like he's got the Dark Bride uh, Lunar Shadow combo. Come on, dude. And, and Monkey King, come on, bro. Come on, bro. He's a good player, but come on, bro. That's like willpower. That's like superior willpower. So let's let me show you my accomplishments in Dragon Spider Tower. I actually hit the thousand. So I actually cleared a thousand. But as you can see, 
Skyer is at 1,115. He's literally 114 levels above Never, and Never is actually stronger than him as far as power goes. It just goes to show you the combo and the construction of his team was so brilliant, it allowed him to clear content that otherwise he shouldn't. Luna Shadow is actually a PvE hero, even though she's good at PvP. It's weird how strong she is when she, once she's like deeply invested, how much work she can do. She's an amazing character. And how much work <laughs> Dragon Master Don can do. Dragon Master Don is still relevant in PvE content, even like on the Chen server. So when you look at like this character, don't underestimate what Dragon Master Don can do. He is like super amazing. And he still uses the Lord of Time Super Twins combo, which actually gets him pretty far in content. But my thing is, I I play a more offensive game. In Dark Apostle, I thought he was like a healer healer, but he's like a DPS healer. So he actually needs Super Twins in order to perform at maximum capacity. So that's why he needs like more resources. He's kind of like holding me back because he's not like perfected. But we'll go into how I'm going to get that going. But in this arena, you can see that team construction is important. And you, you and I, I think like like Armor Mech is good. I think he's good better. He's better in PvP than he is in PvE content. I just, I just, because Duke What should pretty much be ahead of me. As far as raw power goes, Duke What should be ahead of me. There's no, there's no way I should be one of 1,003. And so, so about never too. But, but she kind of holds you back. Lord of the Time holds you back when you should be doing more DPS. So, I, there's, a, there's a couple of reasons. Because I think I've never, like, pushed it to be further ahead than me. This is based on raw power alone. I maxed that out. I maxed out uh, veins of light. Veins of life. My second best is light, obviously. My third best is dark. Better yet, my third best is fire. The reason why I'm not clearing like fire the way I want to is I gotta get more, put more stars on my team. Because as you can see, Peach is actually ahead. And Harvester is ahead. Skyler actually has some strong fire units that he never showed. Or he wouldn't have gotten so far. I'm weak in water, so there, there, there's places where I can improve there. Like, as far as arena goes, I'm actually sitting at rank three. In arena it's me like once again Skyer proves that he has like really good team construction because he's like hitting one never's hitting two I'm hitting three yeah so your boy of course making making ways man I'm not just like sitting here and just like twiddling my thumbs your boy's trying to get up there even in a uh, championship your boy of course like not playing around I'm not like a scrub, dude. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Ab is not a scrub. Your boy Ab is not a scrub. He just he's he's not just sitting on his laurels right right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I make content, man, but don't don't get it twisted. I, I'm not just like sitting here just like twiddling my thumbs. I've been I've been rising. I've been rising, man. I've been rising above. <laughs> I've been rising above. That's why I recognize some of the strengths of the people who are ahead of me. I understand that Never and Sky are like thinking about the game in ways that I need to think about the game. I need to really start doing awakenings. If you when you really look at my awakenings, you can you can pretty much figure that they're garbo. My awakenings are pretty garbo, so that's why that's that's holding me back. Even here, it's kind of holding me back because I should have been cleared this, but it. But it's going to get better because everything from Blade of Shadows downward, I've, I've cleared all that. I just have this, this, and this to go. So the boy I have, of course, no slouch. I'm not just like sitting on my thumbs here. 
But when we look at guilt, it's been tough for our guilt. We lost a lot of good people. Inferno's lost a lot of good people. Like Vinny's still here. Mizo Cook, Kilroy, Hayabusa, Dude Wet. Um, A, he's good. I'm glad he's here. He's a new member, but, I'm, but he's contributing a lot. So I'm glad he's here. Carl, Zix, Okami, and Nags. It's been rough. We've won some guild battles, but we lost some. And as far as guild, guild uh, bonuses are concerned, I max this out first because I think that's more important. But now I just do light and dark. I don't see the point in investing in anything beyond that. Because the best heroes right now are just pure light and dark. There's no reason to invest in any other heroes. That's the way I see it. Like as far as Tower of the Stars goes, obviously my highest one is 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 a uh, win because I had strong win heroes. I still have like three levels, but I don't have much money. Yeah, I don't have much money, so. We'll slowly get there. And as far as this goes, the boy Eric was trying to max all this out. And my golds, I'm building up my golds, but it's whatever. Another thing that I've realized that builds power is this. That's why I've been building twins. But once you get to a certain level, it takes like 200 of these in order to build them. But it's actually good for you to do it because it actually allows you in order to strengthen your heroes in a way other heroes, other people cannot see. And spirits uh, and like towers, I don't even bother with it. They're not like the best resource investment, but that's okay. So my goddess, I'm trying to build my goddess. We're missing like nine. We're missing like 11 fate stones. And once we get those fate stones, we'll actually be able to go to five. And I'm going to like build my godhead in order to get to unlock this. Once I unlock this and I should have some way more power. So that's always something to think about. So as far as building my dark team, I'll actually have three dark units at level at 12 stars. So I got one, two, three. So I only need one more Skyne in order to get him to 12 stars to max him out. So I'm going to wait for him to drop into the... Type of elements that should be coming soon. I think he's the next hero to. Oh, that's really good. I think he's the next hero to drop in the temple of elements. So I'm just gonna save my stones in order to get him. Because once I do that, I have like a very strong unit. Once Sky gets his stuff together, he's actually really competent healer and DPS combo. So that will be really good. I think. The next hero I'm going to invest in will probably be Blade of Shadows or FA Random Dupe Drops uh, Puppet Master. I'll invest in that because I have a lot of dark material. I just don't bother to use it yet because I have one Puppet Master. I have one Anubis. I just haven't bothered to invest in it yet. I would love the opportunity to get a dark bride or a psychic buff but i don't see that happening and of course <laughs> viche is actually about to hit not nine stars but but resources are limiting me resources are limiting me so yeah in fact after i get viche to nine stars one more viche will take her to 10 stars which is really good for me but i'm re i'm really lacking light material so 
that's that. And I'll get, I'll slowly but surely getting grill up. So grill, it's grill, then her. And then grill is going to be easy to get to 12 stars. Because in, in Hero Shop, he's, he's available every, every week in Hero Shop. So like, what about like end of January? Consistently, I'll have Grail at 12 stars. I'll start using him more. Because in theory, when you look at like some of the top players, like when you look at Never, some of these top players who actually clear some high level content like Skyer, they're not like using like premium premium heroes i mean they're not using the greatest heroes like seraphim seraphine is like the typical anecdotal well of of heroes of the crown like hot milkman and the rest of them but when you see like mason like come on this guy's not using like top tier like heroes He's just constructing a team based on strategy. So for me, that's letting me know that I don't always have to pull for top tier heroes because none of us can really afford this game. Some of us are playing the game based on pure skill. So that's why I think that some people on Discord will say that building Grell is a bad idea. And on some level it is because he, he loses he loses steam fast. But when you're competing with guys who don't have money, I think it's okay. So I'm going to keep building Grail. And once I get through building Grail, I'm going to start building Daughter of the Sea and Eternal Flame. It won't take long for them to get built, though. I might do it simultaneously, honestly. I might just start dropping uh, stuff into Daughter of the Sea because, as you can see, I have like this light and dark core selection, the free one that we got. So that's pretty good. Um, if you're actually playing this game at the highest level, Glow Dragon is the cream of the crop piece to get. In fact, I'm surprised they don't have Dark Bride in this. That's kind of sad. They don't have Dark Bride, really? I thought they'd have Dark Bride. Out of Dark, though, you're, you're looking at Lunar Shadow. I think she's the best out of Dark Lunar Shadow. I probably won't get her because I just don't have enough Lunar Shadow. And out of this... I can get whatever I want. I can get whatever I want. So, and out of this, I'll probably pick Daughter of the Sea or Blazing Heart. I'm not sure yet, so I don't, I don't like ascribe to like even bothering with it now. Now that I'm a stronger player, I don't really need to just burn all the resources that I have. This is one of the reasons why I think I'm going to keep in the storm because. In order to max out her uh, awakenings, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need her copy. So, and I have copies of Dragon Master Don, and I can actually nine star my Tempest Dragon. I just don't because I need to put that elsewhere. So I just don't. I'm, I have to build like my. Eternal Flame Julius and Scarlet Moose, so just to clear content. Or I might do like some of the other guys and just like build some like dummy units in order to clear content. I might do that. And I got, and I have a Baby Shark. I think Baby Shark will be useful, but I really need a good healer. And without stars, it's hard to justify her what? I... as a competent healer, so. I'll probably start building Daughter of the Sea. That's probably going to happen. Daughter of the Sea is probably going to be happening soon. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's probably going to be Daughter of the Sea. But let's look. Let's go in at showing you my weak awakenings. Because your boy, Ab, of course, awakenings are pretty trash. So awakening here is trash. Pointless without the satisfaction of manipulating the fates of others. So I'm only like three. I haven't even touched it. 
I'm gonna, I haven't even touched three with him. Uh, Let's dance one, in the two, storm. three. So I'm, I'm at three. I barely even touched three with her. So one, two, three, four. And I barely even like hit four. So my awakenings are pretty weak. A lot of guys right now are at four and five with most of their units. So this is like a big mistake for me. So here the we elements. go here. They are one with one. Me. So we're one, two, and we barely like cleared three with her. So that's pretty bad. Fortune and misfortune so the two one, sides the same coin. two, three, and, are and we and barely cleared apart. three. So that's where a lot of my resources have to go into awakening. So I have to get these awakening stones. <laughs> I'm gonna be like. Trashed here for a while, so yeah, so that's kind of sucks. But anyways, guys, if you like my content, the like, share, subscribe button. I'll get back to you. Have a great day and goodbye.